it does show a significant slowing in the rate of progression. So if you take the untreated people in the placebo group, they will decline at a certain rate. And the treatment with donanumab then slows that rate of progression again by 35% in the combined group, 40% in the primary treatment group. So it does slow the rate of decline. The primary impact of the results from the donanumab study give, give hope to our patients and our families that in fact, we can now intervene on the underlying disease process itself. Rather than just treating the symptoms, we may be able to alter the course of the disease with a drug like denanomab. So I think that's pretty important for our patients. Examining the CA1 region, the hippocampus of a This drug is in the class of drugs called monoclonal antibodies, and they're designed to remove some of the amyloid plaque from the brain, amyloid being one of the defining features of Alzheimer's disease. So presumably, by removing the plaque from the brain, it will slow down the process, the progression of the disease, and hopefully produce some clinical benefit. For the past 20 years or so, we've had drugs available that work on the symptoms but really do not get at the underlying biology of the disease. So denanomab is a drug that gets at the underlying disease process, a so-called disease modifying therapy. And that's primarily very important for patients and, and for families that we can impact the outcome of this disease.